What's going on, my fellow guardians? Thanks again for joining me. This is Hoplo and today's Zerday, and he's gonna be located over here in the Vestian outpost. So let's make our way over there and see what he's at. A large crowd. <laughs> Whoa. Alright, excuse me, excuse me. Thank you. Alright. I am an agent of Hey, what's up, Zer? Alright, first off for the Titan, he's got Helm of Saint 14. This has a max intellect of 125. Perks are increased melee attack speed, more super energy from non-guardian kills, and Ward of Dawn blinds enemies who enter it. That's the key perk, and it's pretty cool. Anyways, the possible stat rolls for this are 79 to 136, so it's on the higher end for intellect, so it's it's pretty good. Alright, let's see what the Hunter's got. Hunter's got Kepri Sting. This has a max strength of 91, and this one gives you gain invisibility after crouching in place for a short time. Melee attacking an enemy from behind while invisible delivers four times the damage. Increased reload speed with primary weapons. And reduces melee cooldown each time you pick up an orb of light. And the possible rolls for this are 86 to 120. So it's on the lower end of strength. And I don't really see too many people using it. Because the whole attacking four times after being invisible is not that useful. Alright. Let's see what the Warlock's got. He's got the Obsidian Mind. This one gives you a max intellect of 60 and a max strength of 55. This one gives you increases grenade throw distance, increased super energy gain from killing minions of the darkness, and Noble Bomb kills reduce the cooldown of your next Noble Bomb. This one's pretty useful, especially when you combine it with a bad Juju and if you're a Void Walker. This is an awesome little um, helmet to have, especially in PvP. PvE, I guess, too. Anyways, the possible stat rules for this are 42 to 77 and 42 to 77 for the strength. So, eh, it's, it's on the lower end, I guess. On some of them. Halfway, I guess. Anyways, the weapon this week is the Patience in Time. And this one gives you, you gain an active camouflage while aiming down the sights. And Raider stays active while aiming down this weapon sights. It's a pretty decent arc weapon. It's not too fast rate of fire and doesn't have that high of an impact. But it's useful in certain raids. And you can stock up on some exotic shards that you're going to need once the Taken King comes out. To get some of the blueprints and upgrade those weapons and all that. So might as well stock up on this guys. If you don't feel like getting any of these other things. And if you get the Molten Light, you can try your luck and roll helmet. If you don't have already what you need. <laughs> Anyways, the Curious this week, the Auto Rifle Telemetry. We got Sniper Rifle Telemetry. Rocket Launcher Telemetry. Plasma Drive. Emerald Coil. And Heavy Ammo Synthesis. Which you should also stock up on because it's not that expensive. And you're going to need it for a lot more things than just... Um, Heavy ammo synthesis once the uh, Taken King comes out. You're going to need it for some vendor stuff too. So stock up on it, guys. It's pretty useful. And um, if you want to exchange two strange coins for a mode of light, then it'd be two strange coins, and that's pretty much it. So this week's pretty decent, I guess. Um, nothing too exciting. I mean, I do like the Helm of Saint 14 and the Obsidian Mine. I don't feel too much love for the Caprice thing. I don't really use it. But these two I use all the time. And Patience and Type, I also like it. But I mean, once again, a lot of these things aren't going to be useful. Or most of these things aren't going to be useful once the Taken King comes out. So you pick and choose, guys. Anyways, that's pretty much it for now, guys. Thanks again for joining me. Remember to check out the videos on Tuesday. We're going to go over all the new resets. Especially when, once the 2.0 weapon rebalancing and all the new changes that are going to be coming next week comes out so i'm curious to see what's going to happen next week remember next next week is the one year anniversary of the game coming out so it's a pretty big deal anyways guys that's pretty much it for now this is hoplo signing out bye guys